At the low farm, we grow mushrooms in the desert all year round and we use local materials. In the fungi kingdom, mushrooms are just in fruit. Actually, below the mushrooms is a vast root network, and this root network is known as the mycelium. And it's that mycelium where the magic happens. My name is Bronte Weir. I'm the co-founder of Below Farm. My background is R&D scientist, so I have spent my career taking the science that goes into products and looking at how they translate into something that is useful for the consumer to use onto the market. So that sort of matching of science and consumer need has been really where I've had my focus. Started off in the UK and then I moved to the UE and has been an adventure ever since. A lot of the traits and biology and biochemistry of fungi and mushrooms is much more similar to animals than plants. For example, mushrooms breathe like animals and humans, so they take oxygen and they produce carbon dioxide. They sunburn in the same way that we do. They have all of the complete amino acids that are required for a balanced diet, which means that in terms of health benefits and the way the biochemicals in mushrooms speak to your body, they can have a lot more benefits to your body than traditional plants. Avalo Farm, I'm one of three co-founders. We, as founders, as three expat founders, we made the most of the changes in the law for 100% foreign ownership. The UAE is creating a really enabling environment for a company like ours. I'm really championing initiatives like controlled environment agriculture, uh, sustainable farming, food security, and the circular economy. It's been a great home for us, and uh, we're really looking forward to using it as a base to really establish the Middle East as a center of excellence for mushroom cultivation and mycelium technologies. We are really uniquely in the region, taking the mushroom cultivation process all the way from mycelium through to mushrooms. So from seed through to the plant and into the fruits. And we're doing that whole process here in the region. So if you consider that we have the mushroom seed, this is stage one for us, producing that mushroom seed. We do that in our mycelium lab. This is actually the first mycelium lab in the region. And this is where we take petri dishes of mushroom fungus. We take samples of that and we inoculate it into grain wheat grain or barley, which we then allow to grow and incubate, which creates a mushroom spawn. Then stage two, we need to get the plant to grow. And the plant takes the spawn, so we take the seed from stage one, and we put it into essentially soil, again in the same analogy of the plant. So our soil is not technically known as a substrate in the mushroom world. That substrate is what we use date palm, and we use local wood and a couple of other wings and grains, which we mix all together. We use all local materials, so we don't import anything. Yeah, what happens is everything comes from the dirty side, goes into our sterilizer, sits in here for about 24 hours, and then comes out on the clean side. The clean side is not dissimilar to what happens in the mycelium lab. We're taking the grain spawn that we produce in the mycelium lab, bringing it in here, inoculating it into the bags that have been sterilized and sealing the bags so that they're ready to go into the grow rooms. In the grow rooms, we control temperature, humidity, gas exchange and light, which allows the mushrooms to have the perfect environment that they need to grow. Mushrooms are generally not well understood. And if people want to learn any more about mushrooms, about how they grow, how to cook them, how they grow in the desert, all of this stuff is available on our social media. Also, if you're interested in becoming a bit of a mushroom farmer, we have these really cool pink oyster grow kits. So they are these fabulous boxes which allow you to grow mushrooms in the comfort of your home. They take about a week to grow and we've selected varieties that grow really well in the UAE. 